Hi, and welcome back to my Myrtle Beach real estate video blog where I'm bringing you relevant topics about our local real estate market here in Myrtle Beach. Thanks again for joining me. And I'm here today with Missy Failer with Hub International Southeast, formerly Associated Insurers. It's been a long, been here in Myrtle Beach since the early 80s. And Missy, qu quite honestly, handles all my insurance uh, on the house, rental properties, and I'm a big fan. And she was kind enough to be with us today to really address some questions and concerns that I hear all the time from my prospective buyers. And I know a lot of you, if you're thinking about insurance needs, these are questions that I know are probably on your mind. So I'm going to ask Missy a few questions. And so Missy, thanks for joining us today. Welcome. So Missy. I'm, on, I'm getting this call all the time. Greg, why do I need flood insurance? My house isn't even in the flood zone. I mean, how do you respond to a person on the phone when you're talking to someone? What do you say to that person inquiring about insurance? Well, first of all, I tell them that everyone is in a flood zone. And depending on what zone you're in determines the price you're going to pay for flood coverage. Second, I try to explain to them what flood coverage is. Flood coverage will cover you from rising water, not necessarily from the ocean or tidal surge, even though that is considered flooding. It also can happen from a hurricane that brings torrential downpours or even a spring storm where it just doesn't stop raining. Well, that makes a lot of sense, Missy. Let's talk about torrential downpours and, and those type of things. Let's talk about wind and hail. I hear a lot of people asking about, do I even need wind and hail? And, and how, how does that work? How do you advise someone? Well, you'd want wind and hail coverage just like you would want wind and hail coverage if you lived inland, in an inland area. If there's a tornado, um, uh, any kind of nor'easter, or of course down here it's the hurricanes that yes. bring most of the wind damage. But you've got to have that wind and hail coverage if you want coverage from hurricane. Yeah. Um, also, if you have a mortgage company, they're going to require you to carry wind and hail coverage. Okay. Very good point. And speaking of hurricanes, and let's face it, June 1st, a lot of you may not know this, we started our official hurricane season June 1st, goes through what, Missy, November 30th, I think? Yes, sir. Officially. So we're, we're right there and, and we're getting a lot of those questions. Now, Missy, I mean, when we look at insurance coverage, I mean, how much coverage do I need? I mean, do you, do you use the purchase price? How do you establish the coverage of a home? Well, this day and age, you don't want to use a purchase price because people are getting such good deals on houses. Okay. What we want to do is step back and look at what it would cost to rebuild your house new. My, and you don't want to insure the lot. The lot is not insurable. But we'll usually go by an appraisal where the appraiser lists out what it would cost to build your house new. Or we also use a cost estimator to determine how much it would cost to rebuild your house new. You may very well be buying a house for less than what it would cost to build your house new. And unfortunately with land values going down and the cost of homes going down so much, in many cases, Missy, I'm afraid that's, that's the truth. So, you know, this is just really touching the kind of the tip of the iceberg in terms of a very general overview, a few questions that we put together that I know Missy gets a lot. If you've got a specific question about your insurance needs, uh, Missy's number is going to be posted below. Don't hesitate. Give her a call. Again, it's at, at Hub International Southeast, formerly Associated Insurers. They've been doing business here since the early 80s. Uh, they get all my business, and I would encourage you to call her if you have any insurance questions. And, of course, keep me posted on any real estate needs you have. Uh, send me an email. Uh, give me a call. And, as always, thank you so much for joining us. I'll look forward to talking to you next time. Bye-bye.